nothing yet. Look at the baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's something that you never will forget. It's been on a long journey since the days of chocolate starfish. Tell us a little bit about the evolution that's taken place in that, in that period of time. What's been going on? Oh, look, for me, I guess the, the evolution has been really um, about re-finding myself. I mean, I did a solo album about four years ago called Reconnected, and that was, to me, the start of plugging back into what I was even before the band. Like, the band, um, I love it completely. I love, I mean, I love chocolate starfish and what we did, but at that point in time, that was a bit of a mask for some of the things that I was disguising about Adam Thompson, like, like it is for a lot of performers. And I really had to find who I was again and not just be uh, only the guy who sings. And that's where the evolution began. And I guess the cathartic uh, part of it is, is now that I work so much in, in my business, Muse Magic, which I travel around the world and do this uh, personal development program that I devised through songwriting and recording. Confrontation of the things that you fear is, is the greatest gift you can give yourself, I reckon. Because you can confront those things that cause you depression, cause you anxiety, cause you, uh, in, you know, whatever scarring you've had from whatever reasons in your past, if you can absolutely confront that and, and go through it, um, you'll come out so much better that there's a lot of pain that goes with it. Your musical journey, yeah. we saw a, a, an incredibly energetic performance tonight. Mm. Are you, is, it, is, is the Adam still wearing a mask on the stage? See, as a performer, I, I'm, that is not, that's me. That is absolutely me now. So most of me is quite energetic and yeah. most of me is quite uh, effervescent. My trip to India tomorrow, for example, is uh, writing a song for the London Olympics with uh, yeah. the kids of Kolkata for uh, commissioned by the British High Commission. Why, why is a guy from who grew up in Shepparton, Victoria, mm -hmm. getting asked to write an anthem with you know, the kids from India to inspire the Indian Olympic team? That, that, to me, those sort of jumps are almost unfathomable 10 years ago. But yeah. What, so what sort of uh, flavour can uh, we expect from the album? Though? From the Starfish album, yeah. From the Starfish album. Um, see, it's relevant to where, and, and that's probably, that was the biggest block, block that Zoran and I had for many years, is that um, we were all maturing, uh, but nobody wanted to be the one to say they were maturing. So there was still this, and it's, I'm sure it's the same with a lot of bands, where, and, and Tim and I, uh, Tim Henry and I talk about it, it's the angry young man syndrome. Right, we always still think we can be the angry young man, but you know we're not that. But we still got passion and we still got energy. So how do you how do you reinterpret that um, when so much of what others know you by is the angry young man from the, you know mm. from your from your twenties? So it, it's a matter of, of sharing it and having that openness, which you know has taken us a good twelve years to be able to look each other in the eye and have that new. Okay, now I know, you know, we're both in our 40s and we can actually write still energetic songs, but not from a 20-year-old's point of view. Now there's no presets, there's no bullshit when you come to Tongarumba, you have a good time. Don't talk about having a good time. You have a good time. I want to create the Tumba mind dance here right now. Right? Let's see if I can create a Guinness Book of Records. 4,000 people doing some line dance to this, alright? So here we go. Come on! Time to get off your backsides! 